So I'm back. Mimic Octopus Man is back with part two of my idea for an anti-evil, anti-Illuminati creature or the dark for dark. What's that thing called? Dark Crystal Age of Resistance, which is Illuminati predictive programming. So anyways, I made like a coyote-like fizz gig, but I, I haven't come up with the game yet. So anyways, I've shown like my own idea. See, uh, badgers and coyotes can hunt together. So in my, I, my uh, creature, for the Illuminati predictive programming, Dark Crystal Age of Resistance is going to have a uh, basically like, but it's gonna be like a coyote though. But let's see, I'm gonna let's just focus on my creature. So my Kaninigan is part squirrel monkey. So I'm gonna put the under my badger here. I know I need the Kaninigan. I'm reusing it. I'm gonna take it here. There! I'm gonna reuse this one here. I'm also gonna work on my coyote like this gig later. I'll work on that creature when I made it. So I put the parts on it. I'm all put the parts. There. Put the upper part of the head. There! And now for... I'm just wondering that, uh... I mean, fizz gigs... They could be like, uh... It's not really a fizz gig, it's more like a world relative. I'm gonna cover it the coyote here. I got the parts of the coyote out. They, they're not... They're more related to, like, fizz gig. Not really fizzy first. I put parts of a coyote here. Those are coyote parts. There. They hunt together. And looks like this goes a little bad. Turn the other one up. Uh, there. I was wondering about the eyes. Maybe I should like, fix the eyes. They hunt. I guess this fizz gig would be pre pretty big. My Kaninigan is like 20 feet tall. It's like a giant ground sloth. Like, the Gelflings are very little. Here's. And so, like, when a Gelfling is, like, walking around, and then they see this, it's like, oh my, it's a, it's a Kaninigan, holy crap, they're real, I thought they were fake, ah! There. And, you know, Kaninigan is the word that can show who's a reptilian shapeshifter. So, I want to put that word, that, like, I want that word to be used in the Illuminati predictive programming to diss the Illuminati. There. Oh. Made this really long. Illuminati. The Illuminati for young people. There, and they hunt together. So like, these gelf, they see, now the, the Kaninigan works, I don't know what to call this race, like what, 
the Kyoji like this gig though. Eh, I don't know. I gotta come up with a name for that. My idea for the Kaninigan, it inspires like because it's the Gartham War. It's a base. It's the Gelfling fate versus the Skeksis, and the Gelfling, the, the Skeksis use these uh, the flea like Gartham. There's uh the Gartham Master Skeksis there. Is his name Skeksung? I got check. <laughs> but you know, like uh. My, I, I should really read all of this first, but I gotta, I just wanna show. Communicants uh, are capable of dream fasting with one another, like dolphins. Or, I gotta, I put the word stray links, but I thought that was gonna be the other name if I chose communicants. I'm gonna say the Kinnigan. Wait, I'm gonna put Kinnigan. Maybe Kinnigan Scrailing could be another name, but like, or like a, a different race describes them as Scrailing. But I don't know right now about that. If I should keep the Scrailing name. Scrailing is what like Vikings called the uh, native, the Aboriginal people. When they found them in Turtle Island slash North America. The Kaninigans borrows inspired the Gelfling warriors to make tunnels in the Gartham Wars. The tunnels are called the Gelfling Tunnels. They're an immense network of connecting underground uh, tunnels. It's part of a much larger work of tunnels that are much of throth. Tunnels were used by Gelfling warriors as hiding spots during combat, as well as serving as communications and supply routes. Hospitals, food and weapon catches, and living quarters for numerous Gelfling warriors. The tunnel system was of great importance to the Gelfling and the resistance to Gartham forces and helped to counter the growing Skeksis military effort. Tunnel warfare is a general name for war being conducted in tunnels and other underground cavities. It often includes the construction of underground facilities, mining or undermining in order to attack or defend. The use existing natural caves and artificial underground facilities for military purposes. The Macrax didn't like the Skeksis because they forced them from their homes. They were a subterranean race and did not cope well in the outside world. And ate, they aided Gelflings by building tunnels for them with their tools. Oh, here, wait. I I'm not gonna go here, or... Actually, I'll just go here. I gotta skip some parts. The Gelfling tunnels are based on the Chu Chi tunnels that the Viet Cong... I'm gonna say used during the Vietnam War. During the Gartham occupations... Oh wait, uh, that's something else I gotta talk about later. So, the tunnels... I, so, the, the Kaninigans inspire them to make, like, uh, tunnels for warfare and whatnot. Because the Kaninigans can dig through cheat tunnels. Because in war, tunnels are used. And... See, I have to- I put it out here. Imagine, like, the Gelflings using, like... They discover, like, there are tunnels here and whatnot. Like the tunnels of that's that's the that's since my uh Kinnigan is like 20 feet tall, they have like these huge ass tunnels, and then they inspire. Oh, this is a tunnel used in warfare in the past. See, uh, wait, I should cut that out. There are humans there. I gotta cut the humans out of there. I'm gonna because I have a picture of the woodland. Or actually, maybe you go like that. Like, I imagine like the Gelflings. Like, hey, why does it look blurry? Hey, why is it blurry? That's weird. It looks blurry. Oh, oh, it's fine now. So imagine like the Gelfling. Like the Gelflings go inside these tunnels, and then like they say. What is it? Oh, like, oh my god! Where? 
This is one big... The, the tunnels, they're so huge. I know. They're very big. What creature could have made this? Was it this game? I mean, actually, I ain't got no weird voices. I made him sounding rough. What creature could make this? Huge ass tunnel. Uh... Man, I don't know these. I printed this out. All right, how can I tell which ones are like? That looks like a guy. Okay, I'll say they're all guys. Uh, no, I don't even have to hear the voice acting. Uh, uh, but either way, they discover like there are like there's something in there. Then like they wonder if, it, if it's like Skeksis who did this. But then they remember the old legends. Hey, where's my... Oh, here it is. I don't know. I have an idea of something like that. But then, like, I guess you could say they end up doing encountering Kinnigans or something. And then, like, they, they know of the Kinnigans' fearsome reputation or something like that. Then like they then these Gelfling see these big ass Kinnigans and they're like holy shit they're real oh my god Kinnigans are real oh my god we're, ah, we're not a, we are a peaceful race but it's the Kinnigan that inspires them to like fight against the Skeksis or something like that. I will say, man, then, then, like, when the Skek, then, like, the Gelfling are inspired to make, like, these tunnels and whatnot. Oh, and also the Macrax, a race of, that are, that are based on dung beetles, help them build it. Wait, I gotta read what I wrote. But, also, I'm not sure the Macrax. The Macrax. They're like based on dung beetles. Also, Runic is Agra's son. I made out a story there. The Macrax didn't like the Skeksis because they forced the. Uh... Oh, wait, wait, up, up, up. The Macrax didn't like the Skeksis because they forced them from their homes. They were a subterranean race and did not cope well in the outside world. They ate gelflings by building tunnels for them with their tools. Agra was aware of the existence of the Kininigans. When the second great conjunction occurred, the Kininigans chose to stay most of the time underground to remain hidden. As Runup led the Macrax to the field of fire, he encountered the Kininigans. Runup and the Macrax were going to be attacked by the Skeksis darkened underground creatures, half mechanical, insect-like, serpentine zombies. When the, uh, Kinnigans attacked them to protect Ronup and the Macrax. And the Macrax. So... Also, these, like, underground creatures are also thinking of making them, like... Uh... Illuminati card. I'm just gonna get Nazi. I think I'm something like that. So, anyways, Dark Crystal HF Resistance is Illuminati predictive programming. I mean, like, seriously, it is. Even designing a new creature is Illuminati. See, this was a winning creature. Created. This was a. Con so, this was like a contest in the past. Notice, like, uh, the black and the white. That's uh, based on like uh, the checkerboard, Masonic checkerboard, Masonic black white.
So you see Masonic Black White. Also, like, the Gelfling Courier, like, it's... This creature is about showing, like, messages to the Gelfling who are far, like, bringing messages to Gelflings who are far from each other. But look, there's an Illuminati Pyramid there. The Illuminati Pyramid. That's a that that means it's like it's that's a that's a Illuminati right? C C C Illuminati pyramid near I'm putting the Illuminati symbol pyramid and that that Gelfling that creature somebody designed is Illuminati. Inoria the Gelfling Corridor. Also, see, I had to, I put my, put my Canadian stuff too because that looks super weird, and then I had to make my Canadian be super weird. I was wondering if I should just like put the only the monkey face, but then I'm like, the creature has to look so like really weird, and so I put like the star nose mole part. Oh, I'm gonna run out of space. So the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance is Illuminati. It's all about predict. It's satanic Illuminati predictive programming. Look, look, look. See, Dark Crystal Age Resistance, and in the future, well, there's, a, there has, there's, there's going to be, like, there's already a New World Order Resistance, like, people against the Illuminati, and they're going to be in the future. So, like, Dark Crystal Age of Resistance, New World Order Resistance, and then you have, like, that's, like, the world of the Dark Crystal. The Skeksis rule the western part, the cast and then there's all like the Gelfling ruins when they're defeated. Here's one. And that's actually predicting that's the world that world is the future. It's gonna be this world though, the one world government world. There's gonna be North American Union, uh South American Union, European Union, African Union, and Asian Union. Wait, I'm waiting for the music. It's all about like they wanna like the Illuminati who are Skeksis like wanna like rule the world and shit. And there's gonna